Hello and welcome back to Random Redstone. Now in this video we're going to be doing something that pretty much is along the same theme as the as the Redstone screen which I did, which is actually Redstone computers. But I'm pretty much like taking it apart bit by bit actually. But here we have a, a, a Redstone printer, which is awesome. So we had the Redstone screen there, which is like the computer screen. And now we've got the Redstone printer, which is awesome. Now we have our paper here, which is which is nice and sand. We have our paper tray here, which is awesome, with the obsidian at the end to obviously stop the paper from being pushed too far along and breaking fences and things like that, because that should be a nightmare. So, yeah, it got, goes all the way up to here and everything. Quite a nice machine. And, yeah, I just, pretty much this printer, I've just got it to say, like, a, a normal message of hi. So I'll just get to, to put the inmate, put that into the, into the paper. There we go, it's into the paper now. And I literally just got right some weather clear. Don't like the rain. Okay, and then we literally just go start it. It's a really simple device to use. There we go, and it's already started. There we go, and is it printing down in the tray? There we go. It is down in the tray. There we go. So while it's doing that, um, actually no, it's pretty much already done. Actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's all pretty much already done. There we go. There we go. Finished printing. So there you go, your the printer's pretty much saying hi. So yeah. <laughs> Good it's a nice printer. Really is a cool printer. So push that back there and that should get rid of the imprint which it has. You then press that and that should stop the pistons from moving, which is awesome. So yeah, it is fully working redstone printer. It's really awesome. And probably I'll go. I'll probably say one of my favourite redstone machines that I've made because of just how amazing it is. Now, when it comes to the ink and everything for this, it is well as you can probably tell, it's pretty much gravel. So we've got the gravel here, which pretty much represents like a stamp kind of thing. So let me just go refill this up. That's the only downside with this printer is you will have to re um, refill it. You could kind of, if you wanted to, have an auto-refilling circuit, um, but I haven't really put one of those into this one, mainly as, well, it's too much to go wrong if you do have an auto-refilling circuit, really, but it is possible, it is possible. If you do want me to show one of these with an auto-refilling um, ink circuit, then do let me know in the description below, and I will make one with an auto-refilling ink so yeah this is i'm now pretty much just um resetting it so i need to make sure uh get rid of all those still now when it comes to resetting your printer you need to have all of that covered you, uh you, well it's best if you have this extra one gone and oh, i'm just going to keep this here because i'm only resetting it i'm not going to get rid of it or anything i'm only pretty much showing you how to reset it so pretty much we have the one there, and then however long your tray is. So we have the one here, and then we have the ten, which is here. Let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, it is the ten there, and the one up there, which is eleven, which is awesome. So we stack eleven high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And just do that all the way across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you carry on doing this pretty much until the whole thing is pretty much 100% finished. And then pretty much the whole printer is 100% reset, which is amazing, really. Obviously, you will have to reset that down there by destroying it. <clears throat> then you can like reuse some of the grass, the paper, and things like that, which is awesome because that means you don't have to like, get rid of paper all the time the only downside is the gravel it sometimes turns to flint which is quite horrible it's annoying but still so yeah we are now going to show you into the redstone of this beast <laughs> we have the two redstone um what's it called i can't remember what they're called now top of my head my brain's my brain's automatically stopped working now that's a t flip flops so this here flip flops for some reason my brain stopped working now no idea why but yeah two wrestling for t flip flops i have done a video on t flip flops so a link to that will be in the description below now let's focus on this system first shall we this is the pretty much the piston pulley system it pretty much pushes the paper around and tells it what to do now it comes through here into our T flip flop which goes around here to this clock. So when you have it turned off it has that which is cool. 
And I've probably just messed up some of the redstone, which is annoying. Let me just let me just check to see if I've actually messed up some of the paper. Yeah, I've kind of yeah yeah that, yeah. <laughs> oh, I should have I should have seen that coming. Oh well, that was a bit of a fail. Bit of a fail. Right. I'll just do that so I know I know later on to put the paper back up. But yeah, pretty much that there makes it there's a clock going along here. Which this torch provides power to all of these, and it goes all the way down there to the to the um, pistons. Okay, I keep treating the names for things. It's really weird. It goes all the way down to the pistons that are all the way down here. So we've got the pistons right here, and those are all powered by redstone, which is right there, which is awesome. Now let's go back into here in a minute, and yeah, let's see. We got all of these here are actually set up to the second tick. That's to compensate for the two repeaters that are there. So that way, these um, this entire row of pistons and the other row of pistons are actually in time, which is good. So everything about this entire machine is to do with timing. So that's this. That's that circuit done. The next circuit is actually the printing circuit that pretty much prints the image onto it. So it has the two flip flop here, which goes into here, and it has all your pistons laid out with whatever your image is going to be. It can be any image, it doesn't have to be high, it could be numbers, it could be letters, it could be pictures, like a picture of a creeper, or, or anything, you can let your imagination go wild with this machine, it's amazing. So, yeah, we've got all of these on one tick, and that is to compensate for the other side, that actually goes via this one here, and that is to boost the signal. So, the, all of these go up, and always make it in time, has the one tick boost. So this entire device is amazing because you can do literally almost anything image-wise with it. So I'm probably going to end up having to pretty much fix all my mess over here. Oh wait, no, that's already done. How amazing is that? That's how fast it is to literally clear it all up. Amazing machine. So yeah, the redstone printer. I'm slowly getting there to actually making a redstone computer. It's quite quite interesting because we've got, already got the screen and we've already got the printer. I wonder if maybe you might be doing a redstone keyboard or mouse next. If I can work out a way, that might be quite cool. So in the end, you never know. I might end up being able to do a redstone printer. So yeah, <laughs> redstone printer. I've already done a redstone printer. That'd be. I've already done a redstone printer. So I think I'm a bit getting a bit confused. A redstone computer. <laughs> so yeah. Until next time. Bye.